Hey, what's up returning residents to this channel as well as those joining for the first time. I'm your host Corey. Today I'm going to teach you about one of my favorite pieces of clothing. One that was very popular a few years ago. But in truth, it's a really timeless classic. So without further ado, I present to you the cardigan. This item of clothing, boys and girls, is actually from the sweater family. That's why some people will call it the cardigan sweater. I just call it cardigan for short, as do most people. The difference between the two though is that the sweater doesn't come with buttons, but the cardigan always does. Now a cardigan comes in various styles, patterns and fabric. And it's considered a layering piece. Now if you don't know what layering is about, I have a video which should be up here somewhere. You can click on that to watch about how to layer your clothing. Now a cardigan is a very versatile piece of clothing. It can be dressed down to go casual or can be dressed up and worn to work or wherever like what I'm doing here. These days I normally just wear a cardigan to work but don't let that stop you from experimenting. You can go casual with it as I'll show you later on. Now a cardigan normally comes in the regular V shape with no color or it can come in a shawl color style. Some are made from thick materials and are normally worn in cold countries or some are made like the one I'm wearing here with thinner materials so it can be worn in warmer climates. The cardigans are made from various types of fabric, from the basic wool, which is the original material for the sweaters and the cardigans, to cotton, cotton blends, to the very expensive cashmere. And cashmere, it's very, very soft. It's very nice on the skin. As for how it should fit, it's pretty simple. It's just like with most other clothing. You need to ensure first and foremost that the shoulder parts are in line and fit you well as well as the armholes, it's best when you have small armholes so that it can be more flexible when you raise your arm so it doesn't pull the cardigan out or up I should say. Also, you should make sure it's not baggy on you. It should be fitted, not tight as it fitted. There's a difference between the two. So it should fit the body well and complement you, not make you look like a potato sack. As for how you should wear a cardigan, it's pretty simple. If you're going for the casual look, it's as simple as putting on a t-shirt, like a white v-neck t-shirt with a cardigan over it, some jeans, and you can wear a boot or a white pair of sneakers. It'll look good, trust me on that. Now after that, you leave the cardigan out, not tucked in, and leave the last button open. Just like when you're wearing a jacket, you leave the last button open, it's the same thing with the cardigan. Now as for dressing it up, you will simply wear a button-up shirt like the one I'm wearing here with the cardigan over it. The necktie addition would make it be dressed up even more. So that's your call. Now it's best to wear plain shirts. The pattern shirts might clash, especially if you have a pattern on the cardigan already. It might look, it might look funny. If you're going to wear a pattern shirt, ensure that the cardigan itself is plain with no patterns on it. Then you can wear a pair of chinos with that and some boots, whether it be a chukka boot or a Chelsea boot or even dress shoes, like an Oxford or something. And if you're living in one of the colder countries, you can always add a jacket over the cardigan. I wouldn't suggest you try the jacket over it here in Jamaica, that will be really, really warm. The only exception I can think of is if you're working in a place where it's the AC is like really, really, really cold. Then you might take a chance, but don't blame me if you get a heat stroke. And once again, you should leave the cardigan untucked or tucked in. I tuck mine in. Why I took mine in is really because it's kind of old. I have these a long time and it's kind of loose down that end. So I just tuck it in. It looks more uniform that way. But if it's a new cardigan, like I said, leave it untucked. And the length of the cardigan should cover the belt area. If it doesn't, it's too short. And lastly, as for how to carry the cardigan. Firstly, you have to remember that this is an item of clothing that doesn't really come in contact with the skin. As you always have a shirt or something underneath. So... In other words, it doesn't get sweaty a lot. So what I'm trying to say is don't wash it very often. Washing it very often or dry cleaning it very often will actually shorten the lifespan of the cardigan. So only wash when necessary or dry clean when necessary. Also, you shouldn't put them on hangers because putting it on hangers will actually cause it to stretch over time so the shoulder parts get stretched out of line and so forth. So it's best to fold and put them in a drawer. Well, there you have it for another episode. You know the drill, folks. If you actually enjoyed this video or learned something, hit the like button below as it really helps the channel to grow. And if you haven't subscribed already, remember to hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I drop a new video. And follow me on Instagram at effortless underscore fashion. Of course, guys, that's fashion with. That's right, two ends. So till next time, guys, stay stylish.